It's time for the sandbox news. This week we have nothing new really. We have some new clothes, a new slider for voice chat volume, and some minor bug fixes and editor update. There's a new brown leather jacket and party glasses. As you can see, they look very realistic. There are no updates to Construct this week, but we do have a new option in the menus. So under sound, we can see there's a new voice chat volume slider. Now, this is so useful. Previously, there was no way to change the voice chat volume. You couldn't turn it off. There wasn't even a console command to change it. So that was really annoying when I was trying to live stream and people would mic spam. But now we finally have this. It's, it's a huge game changer. Wow. Oh, I, I'm in the menu and you can see there's actually a color gradient on the glasses. I hadn't noticed that before. There are some bug fixes to surf. So previously there was a weird bug where sometimes you would just randomly get stuck on the surf ramp. That's been fixed. A lot of people in the comments actually told me that that was just like a skill issue and I was doing it wrong, but it turns out I was right, that was actually a bug. So no more random stopping. There are some updates to the developer mode. We now have these debug views in the menu here, so I can change the wireframe mode. You can see I'm showing the server wireframe here. This is server collision. Ooh, this is new actually. So this is solid collision hulls without the wireframe. Let's see, client wire. So this is a client wireframe. And then here's the client collision hulls. Very interesting, very cool. I'm not actually sure what's going on with the sphere around my gun and feet. I don't actually know what those are used for. It, it'd be interesting to find out if anyone knows. Also, we have the fake lag command here. So this just sets a fake ping for testing networking and making sure your weapons don't appear laggy in multiplayer. Previously, these settings were in the old developer console, which we had to press F1 to open. Now we can see it's been reduced. It's just a developer console now, at least in the tools mode. Here is a quick update on my stockyard map. As a reminder, this is a recreation of the Half-Life 1 deathmatch map of the same name. As you can see, it's looking slightly more realistic. There are a little bit less dev textures. Actually, I think I've removed all the dev textures, but there's still a little bit of detailing to do left. For example, this hallway right here has no detail, and neither do these wooden platform areas. But that shouldn't take long. So the map is almost finished now, and hopefully I'll be able to release it in a couple days. So that's very exciting. I'm thrilled I can't wait. Speaking of can't wait, I can't wait for this video to be over. Oh uh, wait, I don't have to wait anymore because it's over. There's no more sandbox news. I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow, probably around noon Chicago time, but I'm not entirely sure yet. So come stop by if you're interested. It's very exciting. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you to my Patreon supporters.